So in this video, let us look at uh, mean of group data by step deviation method. Now, what is the step deviation method? And how is it different from the previous method? More specifically, how is it different from the shortcut method? Well, it's not very different from the shortcut method. Only thing is, you know, when we dealt with the shortcut method, it was x bar equals the assumed mean A divided plus 1 by capital N times summation of Fi times the Di, right, the deviation. But as far as the step deviation method is concerned, let me tell you, this is the shortcut method. So when we come to the step deviation method, what is different is that we've got x bar equals, the assume mean is still there, but we've got a new term, something called as h. H is nothing but a divisor, it divides the deviation, you know, and then we've got a plus h times 1 divided by n is still there, times summation of fi and then we've got a new term ui from i equals 1 to n. So what is this ui? Let me come to that. Now ui is nothing but di by this h. So let me write here. Everything is the same. A is the assumed mean. No difference from the shortcut method. None at all. Then we've got n also same. This is the sum of the frequencies. No difference at all. So what is h? The h is nothing but it is a common divisor of the deviation, the values, you know, to reduce the numbers, to make it more simpler. So that is what it is. So now what is ui? ui is nothing but the deviations divided by h. So that's all is the difference compared between the shortcut method and the step deviation method. There's just these two terms coming in, and you know, h and then the ui. The di is going to be there, but it's not going to appear in the final formula. So the di is taken off, and then you've got ui and h. So what is h? h is a common divisor that is going to divide the deviations, that is a di, to make it a little more smaller. And then that is going to be multiplied. You now, whatever that you get, that's going to be multiplied with fi, and that'll be called as fi ui. So that's all of the difference. So this ends this video. So I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with problems based on mean of group data by step deviation method. So we will solve an actual problem employing this method, the step deviation method. So this is called as a step deviation method. Or this is the formula for a step deviation.